Hey everybody and welcome to Last Week from the Table for August 4th, 2020. I'm your host, DM Galabon. All right, welcome to Last Week from the Table. This is the show where every Tuesday night we recap what has happened in my actual play games from the last week. Uh, let's go on with the show, shall we? On Thursday nights at 8 p.m., we are playing everybody's favorite survey of the published 5e adventures, the Sword Coast Chronicles. Uh, right now, we are still working our way through parts of uh, Tyranny of Dragons. And the um, party is at the camp of the cultists. And they actually uh, returned there at the end of the previous session. And this session, they were hoping to infiltrate and try to find if there is, in fact, a hatchery uh, for some dragon eggs that are rumored to be in here. Well, they spent the entire episode fighting trash and <laughs> working their way through cultists and guards and things. And they didn't really get very far in there because as soon as they got through cutting down one wave, another wave of enemies came at them. And um, so they're, uh, they just have finished up fighting the third wave of enemies that they faced. Uh, successfully defeated those, but they've had to consume a few potions and use a few healing spells, and they're kind of running a little bit low on resources, uh, so they're kind of wondering what is going to happen next. And what is actually going to happen next is that we are not going to have a traditional session this Thursday night. Uh, Thursday night, the 6th, uh, you may notice my shirt. Uh, for Orlando City. Uh, Orlando City is in a, uh, well, it's a tournament, but it's a knockout round. It is the semifinal round. Uh, basically, they have a match on Thursday night, and if they win, they play for the championship of the entire tournament. So it's a very important match for fans like me. So I'm going to be parking my butt in front of a TV watching that match instead of running a D&D &D game. However, the party, several members of the party have talked about wanting to do a fireside campfire RP session. So if there's enough buy-in from everybody, I am going to set up the uh, Twitch, uh, turn on the cameras, turn on the stream, and let the players go. And I will just let them have a nice uh, in-character RP session around the campfire uh, for Thursday night uh, while I go watch my soccer game. And uh, then I will have as much fun figuring out what they did as uh, the people who stopped by and view uh, the stream. And speaking of viewers, thank you very much, viewers, uh, because of your... Uh, continuing to show up on Thursday nights and Sunday nights. We've now gotten to the point where we have reached affiliate with Twitch. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, now we're working on trying to get more folks uh, from the Twitch to come over and subscribe on the YouTube side for the daily content that we do. Uh, and if you have found us on YouTube and you do not yet know about us on Twitch, please go down into the uh, description. You'll find links to uh, everything, including my Twitch channel and the other uh, uh, social media platforms that I'm on and everything like that. All right. So uh, there may be a game Thursday night. Um, you will know that there is when the channel goes live. All right. So uh, and I'll, if I if I know about it enough ahead of time, I'll try to announce it. Uh, during the day that we are going to have an RP uh, fireside chat session uh, on um, Thursday night. All right, on Sunday afternoons, we are in the Walker of Waterdeep, and 
the party have finally gotten their miners into the mine. They finally are able to get the miners starting to work to get some of this ore that they have come to Innistrad to look for. Uh, they spent a good three sessions clearing out the mine. And this past session, there was quite a bit of RP that went on because we have a relatively new player. Um, she actually, not this weekend, but last weekend was her first session in this game. Uh, she's a player that's migrated over from Thursday night to also join the Sunday game. And uh, she is... Uh, uh, she came in in the middle of a fight. So she really didn't get a chance to introduce herself or do a lot of conversations with the other players uh, the first week she was there. So they wanted to give her a chance to kind of uh, get into her character and for the other characters to learn about her character this week. So uh, during a time of rest, they did that. They also had some disturbing dreams. Uh, most of them did. Uh, we had a lot of bad wisdom saves while people were sleeping, uh, which meant that uh, the kinds of creatures that can sort of creep into your dreams and manipulate what you're dreaming about were able to creep into their dreams and manipulate what they were dreaming about. And uh, so there was some clues as to something that might be happening in the near future uh, and some sort of veiled threats about uh, what might be happening. And Galabar had his axe stolen in his dream. And when he woke up, his axe wasn't there anymore. So when he was robbed in his dream, he was apparently robbed in the waking world as well. Very curious. Uh, very curious about that so uh this is the uh this is the uh this has been a kind of a touch point uh in the uh campaign and we're going to see what happens in the next couple of sessions. There is some work that they uh, that the PCs feel like they need to do in the mine uh, for safety issues uh, because they have discovered there's actually an open portal to the Underdark within the mine. So they want to see about sealing that up before something nasty comes out of there. Uh, they also... Um, would like to uh, be sure that the uh, miners are set up with all the equipment that they need in order to uh, actually get some of the ore out of the mine uh, and uh, make, a, make a go of it here. All right, so that is what's happening in the Walker of Waterdeep. Now, uh, Sunday... Uh, we should be having a normal session uh, this past Sunday. Uh, they were kind of up in the air because we didn't know what Isaias did or was going to do. So I just said, all right, everybody, let's plan on a normal session. And if the weather uh, means we can't play, then, well, we can't play. But the storm, fortunately for us here in Florida, uh, the storm was a little bit weaker and stayed a little bit farther offshore than was expected. They got some, you know, heavy surf on the coast and uh, a few gusts of wind over there. But uh, where I am in the middle of the peninsula, we hardly even noticed anything was happening. Just a little bit more gray skies and a few bands of rain during the day, but not even a whole lot of heavy wind uh, that reached us here. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the people that are further up the coast will not suffer any... Uh, terrible damage from this storm either that's the last thing everybody needs in the middle of covid the summer of covid all right well this has been uh the uh, tales from the table i have been uh dm galabond please if you like all the stuff that we're doing here on youtube uh go down and click the subscribe button click that notification bell you'll hear about uh you'll hear about what we 
um, everything that we uh, talk about uh, on the uh, channels. Uh, there's playlists. Uh, you'll get notified about every time a new video goes live. We have videos that go live seven days a week on the channel. Uh, and you can also watch archives of our uh, actual play games on Thursday nights and Sundays. Uh, also, the, uh, the complete recordings are uploaded to YouTube from my uh, first attempt at the history of D&D on Saturdays. Um, and all the sessions that were recorded from Walker of Waterdeep are up there. Now, not everything is yet published because I'm still having to go through and uh, do some work on each of those episodes before I publish them. But they are all up there on the channel, uh, ready to be published. And over the next few weeks, that publication should happen. All right, everybody, thank you for stopping by. We hope we will see you next Tuesday. We hope that you will uh, like, comment, subscribe, watch a few more of the videos throughout the week, and uh, we will see you later. Good night, everyone. Mm -hmm.